Hey guys, Dink Mozart's back again. And while I was on vacation in Harwich, I received eight VHS tapes in the mail from eBay. And these are all rare because these are Japanese VHS tapes. The last two in particular I had to get. So, let's get started. I don't know what the first six are, but I do know the last two. This one has a W right there. Spine, back, released by a Quinn Quinn. Old Days Story. I just think it's probably what the series is called. Upside down sticker label, tan lid, and the end label. This one, volume three, spine, back. This is made in Japan. Sticker label, tan lid, and the end label. And then from this series, this is volume one, side, back. Again, this is made in Japan. No label, but it has the tan lid and the oversized grills and the end label. This is volume three, side, back. End label. Wait. No, here's end label and oversized rails and tan lid. Thought it was the same tape, but I think it's not. Here's volume five of it. Side, back. And label, it's like this. Also, no label, but has the tan lid and the other side rails. Different series versions, volume one. Side, back. Again, no label, tan lid, or size rails, but the end labels in the red color so the purple color like all the other ones had. But these last two I had to get. Both of these are Thomas Japanese VHS tapes. Here's volume two. I think this is called Edward's Mistake. Brock Croft presents. Spine. Back. This is used by FCI. And Pony Canyon, 1991 VHS. The case is not in like bad condition, and then you notice there is some mold on this tape, but I'm still gonna keep it. Uh, sticker label, tan lid, oversized rails, and then label Hi-Fi Mono. And it says Realcraft Tonsley 1985, Jamie Soundtrack Realcraft Tonsley 1991. Yeah, if you know it's a case in terrible condition, I'm still going to keep it in this case. And here's volume 6, Super Kid Zone. This is the 1995 re-release case. And tape, I think. Side. Back. See, it says, Full Grass, No Shames, Broke Off Tonsley, 1995. And it says, Call Broke Off Tonsley, 1995. This is the 95 re-release. You know, the thing that holds the tape is broken, but I'm still going to keep it. Sticker label has these prints on top of the lid, and it's tan lid. And the end label also says Hi-Fi Mono on it, and also has copper. It still says 1991. Well, anyways, that is it, and peace out.